Hey everybody, Headspace Connections here, back with another video. We're going to be continuing our Alter Roles and fun Functions series. This time we're going to be talking about child and little alters. Now, most commonly you're going to hear them known as littles. We prefer to say kids or children. I don't know, littles just sounds, just sounds odd. We don't use it, but for the, whatever works for you guys, works for you. Now, they can be very common in DID systems. They do act like kids, but unlike biological kids, because they do come from an adult, may come from an adult brain or an older brain, they can understand more complex concepts and be able to understand and say maybe even different words. Oftentimes, they will hold memories of abuse that occurred around the age that that alter feels he or she is child alter feels he or she is now just like infants they can grow within the system and be able to take on a little more responsibilities sometimes you'll get those that are age sliders that have a younger age and can slide up or you have some that are older and slide down either way they call those age sliders with children is where you're going to usually find those you can't find them in adult alters. It just kind of depends on the system. Now, like I said, they can either grow older or to take on more responsibilities or they can stay that same age. Whichever way works for you guys, none of it is a bad way to be. It's just whatever works for you. Now, Sometimes they can even look like child versions of the host at that set age that they represent. I know for us personally, we have uh, a few of them that do look like me when I was younger. And they are like different ages at different times of on our timeline, I guess you could say. <clears throat> now you can have different kinds of child alters though because you can have some that do hold trauma memories but on the other hand you could also have trauma free kids that are meant to just hold like good memories to kind of even the scale so to speak kind of similar to the infant alters that we mentioned earlier they can kind of help level out the good and the bad memories between this between the everyone else in the system now child alters can also be that like idealized representation of the perfect child or from the perfect family so you can also have those now however these are not to be confused with the concept of having an inner child because non-dissociative people can have these too so there is a very big difference between an inner child and a child alter mm, that's basically it on child and little alters they can take on different roles like you can have a child that's a protector a child that's an interject you know with same with all alters they can have different roles just because they are known as this it does not mean specifically that they are that sp specific role and that's it for child and little alters I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything we might have missed, let us know. Uh, you can comment down below in the description. No. In the comment section. I'm sorry. We've been working all day. We're tired. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to go ahead and go. You guys have a good day or night, whatever part of the world you guys are from. And we'll see you guys next time, all right? Bye.